You know, in the 80s, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do not like them, but they look great on them. I was about to say, would you even? It looks good for the movie. I wouldn't wear that at Target. I don't know. This film was a really important film to me because I grew up on Coming to America, Eddie Murphy. My mom literally forced him down my neck. So I really enjoyed this film. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly say how much this means to me. It was, a, it was a beautiful experience, man. Just a beautiful experience. It really, really, really was. Hello, I am Hakim Jaffer, King of Zamunda. You are the heir to the throne. Yes, my son. He's supposed to be like the prince of Wakanda. Wakanda is a fictional place. Not to everybody. Zamunda is a very real nation. I don't need no handout. Wait a minute. Hi. Okay, <laughs> so obviously this film was filled to the brim with legends. Literally every five seconds, I was just seeing new people. I was thinking, I'm so jealous. Like if I was to meet Eddie Murphy, I'd probably lose my head. So who were you guys most forward, like looking forward to the most? The film is so is full of so many uh, surprise acts. So we can't yeah. really give it away right now because we yeah. don't want spoiler alerts. <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, you you already. I mean, yeah. She <laughs> even. Uh, I was like, oh my god! Yeah. A lot of cameos, from new cameos to the cameos that should have been in the original. Like everything makes sense in this film. Everything just fits. Right. Like yeah. yeah, everything just fits in this puzzle. So, I also don't want to say who shown up and who I was most excited about, but just know that you know Clarence from the barber shop is my favorite character. Yeah. Original. You was a dummy. <laughs> Just awesome. So, but everybody comes back, you know, from from John Amos to Louis Anderson. Everybody shows up. You know, um, it was uh, it was so great to be in that presence, man. Uh, I felt like I was in the original movie again. So, <laughs> Prince Akeem's character was told to be on fleek. So, was there any like terminology or anything you guys had to, um, you know, update the old heads on or anything like that? Jermaine was, Jermaine was definitely updating some stuff. <laughs> I always, uh, always try to update stuff I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing. Language changes, you know what I mean? Like um, phrases like fleet, that's, you know, even that's old, you know what I'm saying? So every day, I, I just believe it's okay to embrace also like uh, what made the original so good, you know? Yeah. Um, you gotta respect the fans because it, it, it also means so much to them. So that balance was important. That balance was so important in this film. And I think we did a great job of executing the, the, the uh, the, the classic with sort of the fresh, you know, and blending that. Um, and such a great job, like, you know, yeah. um, the language, the, the costume design, the, the set design, everything is just blended so perfectly. It's a it's a beautiful little soup. It's a beautiful little soup. You know what I'm <laughs> so obviously the original was filmed in the 80s. So their fashion was a whole lot different. So like they would wear like varsity jackets or like bright colors and stuff like that so is there any trends or designs or anything you are hoping will come back my favorite outfit from the original is uh akeem sort of like is uh his shoulder padded like you know in the 80s oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. i do not like them but they look great on them. i was about to say would you even it was good for the movie i wouldn't wear that at target <laughs> no, no that's when i when i saw eddie kind of rock that you know uh a version of that in in, in the sequel yeah I brought back a lot of memories, man. And, you know, those little Easter eggs were important for the fans, you know? They want to see stuff like that. They want to they yeah. be reminded that we remember, hey, we remember what you like. And those, right. those little things, those little nuggets were so important for this film. This film, <laughs> this film had a lot of Black excellence. It showed, you know, Black people in different shades, different colors. So what was it like filming with an all-Black cast? It's so funny, because, like, not only did we film with all black cast, we filmed in Atlanta, which is like the blackest, blackest city in America. <laughs> everything about this movie was black, everything. And it was important to us because the original opened so many doors for black people. It, it was an honor. It was truly an honor to be uh, and part of film royalty, to be honest. So it was, a, it was a beautiful experience, man. Just a beautiful experience. I mean, for me, it was it was my own personal coming to America experience. Just like <laughs> watching, watching everyone, like you know, just have this cultural experience, and just like watching and laughing, and you know, being a, a, a wallflower sometimes. Um, but it was just like it was amazing just to see also, you know, Hollywood royalty 
uh, just pour into each other. You know, everybody was just showing each other love. It was a party. I will not lie. You know, <laughs> music was being played every day yeah. um, on set. You know, just everyone just had a good feeling. Everybody wanted to make a good project and, and an amazing film. And I'm so glad that you, you know, you've got, you got a good feeling watching it because we, we obviously cared so much. Everyone has their own personal story, just like everybody in the rest of the world about the original coming to America. So we know that the sequel means so much to so many people. So we knew we had to bring it. Coming to America, now it's coming to me. I always thought that Mika was going to be queen. <laughs> A woman isn't allowed to rule Zamunda. It's the law. Did it ever occur to you that Mika wanted to be your heir? Would you dare banish me from my own bedroom? So the soundtrack and music, um, the musical performances really just showed me how much I miss outside and hopefully this pandemic will be over one day. But um, as soon as it's over, who's the first act or first performer you guys would like want to see in concert? I mean, the greatest living performer, Beyonce Knowles. The greatest living performer, <laughs> honestly, like. And then Wiz Kid, Made in Lagos, yeah. that yeah. album? Yes, that album. Don't make me lose my mind. So don't make me lose my mind because he needs to go back to the O2 and I'll fly into London just for that. So those are my two. For some reason, Estelle pops in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to see. I just want to see Estelle sing "American Boy" on 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 a stage in front of millions of people. Um, shout out to Estelle. <laughs> shout out to Estelle. <laughs> but I got to sing Kanye's parts. I'm I'm singing Kanye. <laughs> so Nomzama, you had to tell um, Jermaine's character to um, be the Prince of Queens. So what's it like? Um, <laughs> you know, trying to embrace your upbringing and where you're from um, into like the film industry. I think we live in a society right now where it's like nobody is living in an island about this is who I am, this is what I know, and that's it. Everyone is saying, open the door to who you are and what your culture stands for so that we can be able to embrace each other and just be better people for each other. And I think for me, the story as well was also just about a woman as well who knows who she is, who is who has deep pride of where she comes from and has a lot of knowledge, you know, but also she was also very curious about this American boy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, you know, I wanted to bring that because it, it's not just a, a, a woman who knows a, everything about Zamunda, but she's also a woman who's curious about the world and wants to kind of soak it all in from him as well. So I think that was the juxtaposition and just like that, that, that amalgamation between the two. I think I can relate to that because obviously I'm British, but back home I'm from Nigeria. So like it's constantly, okay trying to you know figure out which one I should be today Hi. but um so Jermaine your character um had to face a uh, certain difficulties when he was trying to find a job um based on the way he looks and the way he talks which is unfortunately the reality that certain people have to face nowadays so what advice would you give to um young people that are trying to get into the um, film industry but also are trying to stay true to themselves there's only one you there's only one you no one can do what you do, you know, and I believe this industry has, it, it can, it can fool you into thinking you have to be somebody else. Mm. You have to be like this. You have to look like that. You have to talk like this. You have to talk like that. And it's not true, you know? And I think if you're in this industry, if you're chasing any industry, any, any artistic industry, really keep a solid uh, foundation. A solid foundation is the most important thing. The people around you are going to be the most important thing. The most important thing. They ground you. They will keep your head straight because there will be ups and downs in your life and in, in your career. And the people who, who are going to hold you together are going to be the people that care about you, the people that are always around you, that want the best for you. Those are the people you should always have around you. So I can say stay yourself, but it's hard for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Keep the keep your keep your circle small and 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 and, and inspiring and motivated. You know what I mean? Keep that circle around you. So I would say keep your circle. Uh, mind, mind who's around you. That's that's the most. Yeah. Important. Just remember, remember who you are and stay true to that. This is your moment. You deserve this. This is your moment. Step up to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank, so, so, so. Thank you. <laughs>